the question is that uh, all the factors of 360 are arranged in increasing order and we have to find the number uh, we have to find the factor which will occupy the 20th position so from the question it is clear that 360 will have the number of factor of 360 will be 20 or more than 20 so before we go and solve this question let us find the total number of factor of 360 so if i prime factorize 360 it will be 2 cube 3 square into 5 to the power 1 so the total number of factors will be 4 into 3 into 2 which is 24 and it is also clear that the of uh, 360 itself will be the factor of the number so it will occupy the last position that is the 24th position and 1 is the factor of all the numbers so 1 will be at the first position now to illustrate the method of solving this question let me take a small number smaller than 360 to understand it quickly so if i take number 90 so 90 can be factorized as 2 into 3 square into 5 and the number of factors will be 2 into 3 into 2 which is 12 and i can list all the factors of 90 easily it will be 1 then 2 3 4 will not be the factor so it will be 5 2 and 3 are the factors so the next factor will be 6 there is 3 square so it will be 9 the next one will be 10 uh, then 15 18 30 45 and 90 so you can see that these are the 12 factors of 90 all the 12 factors of 90 and i have deliberately arranged them in an increasing order now point to observe here is that if i take or let me just mark the position number also the number one is at the first position number two is at the second position uh, number 90 is at the 12th position number 45 is at the 11th position so if i take the product of the first and the last that is 1 and 90 it will be the number itself similarly if i take the product of second and the second last it will again be 90 and this process can be repeated for all other factors given so from this illustration we we can observe that the position number the sum of the position number here in all such pairs will always be 30 so second one will go with 11 so if i say that what which one will go with fifth so the 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 factor which is at fifth position will go with the factor which is at the eighth position because the sum of these positions should be 30. now let us use this illustration to solve this question it is easy to find the first few factors of any number so for 360 the the first factor or the position at the first the factor will be one the second factor will be two the third will be three the fourth will be four the fifth will be five so and so forth and the last one will be 360 so here also you can see that the first one will go with the last one to give the product as 360 but we have to find the product at the 20th position so let it be x which is at the 20th position so this is the 20th position this is at the first position this is at the second position so and so forth and we see that uh, the 360 is at the 24th position so the sum of the position number is 25 here that is the first one will go with 24 the second one will go with the 23rd factor so and so forth so which factor will go with the factor uh, at the position 20th so the sum should be 25 so i can say that the fifth factor from the top should go with the 20th position factor to keep the product as 360 and it is easy to identify that the fifth uh, uh, the fifth factor of 360 is 5 and we have assumed that the 20th factor is x so the product 5 into x should be equal to 360 with this we get the answer as 72 which is option b